So now we're going to go to our document model that we created. And we're going to, of course, what we just created, we're going to derive from our observable object. And in here we're going to want text. Uh, we're going to want to maintain or uh, store the file path and the file name and also a boolean property to check if it is empty or not. So we'll first create a private string underscore text. Make sure you have good naming conventions. And we're going to do a public string text. And this is where we're going to kind of make more sense out of our um, observable object we just created. So we're going to return our text field. And then here we're going to set. And we're going to call our on property changed. We're going to send the reference of our text field and pass it the value. So what's going on here is of course we're returning our field but the real magic is here when we're setting it. When we call the on property changed what we're doing is we're sending it a reference of our field and then also the value we're supplying it through our property. So our on property changed will set it for us. Normally, okay, I'm not gonna be on this too long but I wanna really establish it. Normally we would do this. We would say text equals value, and then we would say on property changed um, text. Of course, this is going to be wrong for now, but normally we would not have this, and we would have to set the text and then call the on property changed and use a magic string to say that it's changed. By the way, we've implemented it. We now, instead of needing these two lines of code, we only need this one. I'm also doing this so we can get rid of these uh, line breaks here. So let's do that. So now see, instead of all that fancy crap jumbled in together as we get more, um, we're really limiting how much space we're taking up here. So I'm going to copy paste this twice and we're going to just change the names. So we're going to also have a file path, like I said, file path. Okay, so I cut the video real quick just to make this fast, but as you see, we essentially just copied what we did above, but instead did it with a file path and a file name. You can pause the video if you want to keep following along. But moving on, we also are going to want a public bool. So public bool is empty, and this is where we're going to check and make sure um, whether or not our file name and file path is empty because if it is then it means we are uh, the current editor is working with a new document that has not yet been saved so we're going to create a git accessor here and we're going to do if string dot is null or empty file name or string dot is null or empty file path then we are going to return true and if that does not pick it up then we will simply return false meaning it is not empty if neither of those are null or empty then it is not empty now you can notice how cleaner this may look um, now that we don't have to individually set the field and then use a magic string to call that this property has changed. Instead we pass it the field, we set the value so it will automatically change our field for us and because we have our caller member it's going to obtain the name of our property here file path because within the scope of file path is where on property change is being called. So it'll get the name of whatever is calling the on property changed. 
Now moving on to our format model. This is also going to be derived from our observable object. And here we're going to actually create a lot of properties. So this will really show you why it was better to uh, do our observable object the way we did. Now for the sake of time, I am simply going to cut the video and display it all for you. Okay, so here we created um, our basic properties. We still have a couple more to create. One thing I do want to mention is we need to add in our system.windows and system.windows.media for our font styles and our font family to be recognized in our um, file. Now I also have down here this is wrapped which we have not created yet but I first want to explain exactly what's going on here. Um, here we're using some syntactical sugar to set a value and essentially we're going to set our is wrapped um, property to a boolean value. Now this boolean value is based upon the value being supplied to our text wrapping. So this is where all the magic happens is we'll get the value that we're sending to text wrapping and here we have the two equals okay because we're using a boolean operator so it's going to see does value equal text wrapping dot wrap we now have our question mark here and this is checking whether or not this statement is true whether or not value equals text wrapping dot wrap question mark means when we follow it up with true that means if it is text wrapping dot wrap we will set is wrapped value to true if it is not we will set the is wrapped value to false just a little sugar there um, feel free to pause the video and try and reanalyze it if you would like but we're going to move on and we're going to create a private bool now we're going to call it is wrapped and then we're going to create a public uh, property for this as well and we're going to call this is wrapped actually I should not have that I capitalized and then we're going to go here and we're going to have a git accessor which will return our is wrapped field and we will also have a set accessor here that will of course call our on property changed referencing our is wrapped and supplying the value and then we're going to do the same as we scroll down we're going to do a private double because we can have our font size set as a double and we're going to call this size public double size and use the get accessor again to return our size field and as we did above whoops and as we did above have our on property change reference our size field and supply the value so that's it really for our models portion we're now going to move on to another video where we will now be covering view models and things are going to start getting a little more fun here uh, right now we're just kind of laying out the skeleton of everything and now we're going to start uh, getting the ball rolling on this project.